The differences between Embroidery Studio decorating and Embroidery Studio designing is as follows. Here you see the Embroidery Studio decorating user interface. You have the graphic digitizing toolbar. You have all of your dockers over here. You have, and this is standard with no, no options or elements added. You have the simple offsets. Um, and these outline stitch types, the run, triple, satin, zigzag, e-stitch, and a tatami run. And the fill stitches that you have are a satin stitch, a zigzag, an e-stitch, a tatami, and a motif fill. The only elements that you can add to decorating is the advanced offsets, the team names advanced, and photo flash. And then we do have a color photo stitch now. Um, the team names advanced, if you do stack names, you might want to get the, you'll notice you just have the team name list and you can go in here, put all of the over here. Let's just do two names um, and click OK. I'm going to go here and I'm going to generate the stitches. Now, let's say I need these on two lines. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to go into the properties of this. Okay, and now I'm going to look at John Smith, and you see John Smith here. I have to go and delete the space out, and then hit enter and update text, and it will put them on two, but I have to do this for each individual name, and if you have 50 names, it's going to take you a while. You can't just do... Um, apply to all because it won't it won't work okay so that is the main what you're getting with the decorating it's very good for beginners it's very easy to use very easy to digitize here we have in Burger studio designing you'll notice you have one more toolbar over here in the toolbox and this is the traditional digitizing tools, your run stitch, the way that um, that the traditionally do it now. Um, and you also have the graphic digitizing tools as well. With those graphic to digitizing tools, you have the freehand and the um, freehand closed and the freehand open. You'll notice also you have a lot more outline types than you did in the decorating and you also have a lot more fill types in the decorating you can add all of our elements to the designing not just the three that i told you about i do want to show you the difference in the team names i'm going to hit the team names notice in the decorating all i had was the team name list i also have a design tab in the advanced team names and this allows you to create team name templates so let's say we needed to um, and these are standard templates that come with it you can create as many as you need let's say we need to add this one so we're going to click on this and it puts the design down there okay and the name and there's actually a one right here that doesn't have stitches on it. The list, I go back into where we were before. I'm going to put them all over here. Click OK. Notice it updates it. I do have to generate the stitches. And if you, I don't need the team name slash name, so I can actually delete this. The top name 
is small and in an arc. The bottom name is a little larger, different color, and a totally different font. And that is what the team name templates allow you to do. So if you just need to add another one, we can go in here and put my name. So now there's my, but I do have to generate the stitches. So there I have mine. And again, it's the same font, it's arced, this one's a different color, and so forth. So that's a big difference in the team name templates. So here you have the major differences between Embroidery Studio decorating and Embroidery Studio designing.